Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I have a question for you about these three amides. So we have three amides in front of us, molecule A, molecule B, and molecule C. And the question is, which of these three guys is the most basic out of all of them? Well, first of all, let's talk about the amide functional group and what it is to begin with. An amide is a type of a functional group, it is a carboxylic acid derivative where we have a carbonyl which is directly attached to a nitrogen which in turn can be connected to either two hydrogens, two carbons or any combination thereof. When it comes to the acid-base properties of amides, well, in order to be a base you need to have spare electron pairs in order to be able to accept that H+. We have a couple of electron pairs on the oxygen over here and we also have a an electron pair on the nitrogen as well. But the thing is, not all of these electron pairs are available for the bonding. Amide functional group exhibits strong resonance. So the electron pairs on the nitrogen, they are part of the resonance stabilized system with the carbonyl, so we can draw another resonance contributor here, which would look like that. And while that is a minor resonance contributor, it has a relatively large contribution into the overall hybrid, so we cannot just discuss count that thing. Now, when it comes to sp2 hybridized oxygens, those guys are not particularly basic at all, and the nitrogen here, while well, the electron pair on the nitrogen is preoccupied by the resonance, which generally means that amides are not very basic. And yet, one of the molecules that I have on the left is actually a base. So what's going on here? Well, let's look at the possible resonance that we are going to have for all those three molecules and see if there is anything to do with the resonance or maybe with the structure itself. In the case of my first molecule, I can take the electron pair on the nitrogen and move it towards my carbonyl like so, giving me the following resonance structure. And looking at this structure, I am not seeing any problems with that, so molecule A should not be basic, just like we would expect for any other amide. Now, let's do the same analysis for our molecule B. In that case, we would take electron pair on the nitrogen, move that towards the carbonyl, and that would have to give me a resonance structure looking like that. And here we actually do have a problem. You see, this bond that I have over here, that would be a pi bond, well, that pi bond over there is actually impossible. The geometry of a bicyclic compound will simply not allow us to have a pi bond right over there and have a stable molecule. That is also known as the Brett's rule, that postulates that a double bond is impossible at the bridge of a small bicyclic compound, and the number of atoms that you would need to have in your ring is at least eight or so in that bridge in order for the double bond to be stable enough for the molecule to twist around and accommodate the geometry of the double bond. So here the resonance is actually physically impossible. And since there is no resonance in this case, the nitrogen of my amide is free to accept the proton and act as a base. So molecule B is actually going to be our base. We found it. Now, just to double check that I'm not going to have any problems with the last one, I'm also going to do the same thought experiment where I'm going to take the electrons from my nitrogen and move those electrons towards my carbonyl. In that case, I will have a resonance structure looking like this, which is not a violation of the Brett's rule. We can have double bonds somewhere in the bridge for as long as it's not at the point where the bridge is connecting with the other bridges, so that molecule is going to be stable, that resonance contributor is going to be stable, and it is quite possible, which means that the molecule C is not going to be basic, just like we would expect for any other normal amide. So remember, while resonance is a very powerful effect in organic chemistry, and we always need to keep in mind uh, any kind of resonance interactions, if the orbitals cannot interact with each other due to the limitations that are dictated by our structure, then there will be no resonance. And bicyclic compounds can definitely be a tricky ones to see those things unless you imagine the molecule in 3D or play with your molecular model kit and actually get a good feel for how those molecules look in 3D so you can easily imagine them. So what did you think about this question? Did you catch that basic amide right away? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. 
leave me your questions and feedback in the comments below. If you learned something new today, hit that like button to help promote this video and help more students see it. Subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates. Watch this video next and I will see you tomorrow.